Hey everybody, we are teaching Gravity Sketch, and now we're going to look at the Mannequin tool. The Mannequin is your standard Adam or Eve figure, human figure, that you can put in different poses and sizes. You can use it as a model to build your uh, Gravity Sketch out of, or you can incorporate it as an object in the sketch itself. Now, these pieces, these tools, are built into Gravity Sketch already. So to get the mannequin, I'm going to bring up the main tools. And you can see the mannequin figure is built in. This is where we're going to get most of our models and things. Not only can we get heads, but we can get bodies built right in body if we're going to be building around it. But we can also grab these mannequins. So let's get rid of these guys. And we're going to start with a mannequin here. All you need to do to get one in your page is reach in and grab it. And now I've got a mannequin in my hand. This guy can be controlled just like any of your model pieces. We can resize him, we can rescale him, that type of thing. There we go. Normal mannequin. Now this is not a subdivide object. So we can't warp and distort him. We can only change his pose. So when I grab the mannequin and edit, now we're in the posing mode. So you can see these green points are control points. I can grab that point and position him based on what pose and what uh, direction I want him facing. You could either use your palm grab or your fingertip control grab and as you can see, each control point moves it a limb. We've got an upper torso control point. We've got a hips control point. Each wrist, each ankle can be moved and posed depending on how you want to move him. Now, if you want more control, if you want to be able to move every single joint, on your main hand, we're still in editing mode. The thumb trigger going left and right. You know going up and down changes the size of your grip. Left and right will change what part of the model are you gripping. In the blue mode, you can see I've got control points even for each joint in the finger. So I can go for a smaller control here, and now I can actually wrap the fingers into a fist. Or maybe I'll have the fingers go into a fist. Get the fingers here, and get that finger down a little bit. But then we'll also grab the thumb. Let's angle the thumb up, bring the thumb up. Now we'll grab the wrist and rotate the wrist. There we go. Not the most effective thumbs up, but you can see what I'm talking about here. So the green controls, affect the entire limb and can sometimes be tricky to get it exactly the way you want. Blue mode, every single joint. So the neck is one, the head is one, the shoulder is one, the elbow is one. So you can really custom pose even the fingers themselves, even the ankle and foot itself, the toes even are a separate piece of the model. Ankle, toes, toes. Once you've got it the way you want it, standard accept, now our model, maybe I'll have him driving a car or something like that, flying an airplane. That knee is still a little weird, so let's get that knee out where it's supposed to be. Get that ankle around, there we go. Accept. So now we've got our mannequin in the pose we want. We can duplicate him just like any other model. While you've got him held, the trigger finger creates another mannequin. So now I've got all four in the positions I can build a car or a spaceship or whatever it is I'm trying to do with these pieces. That one doesn't count. Get rid of them with your thumb, just like the other pieces as well. Once you've got your mannequin, one or more than one, 
The other way we can change them is by their color and the color palette. Standard, grab the object and thumb, and now we've got our palette controller here where we can choose different colors. I can even choose different materials. Now I've got the tune-based mannequin. Now we'll make it the glossy metallic mannequin. So you can color this object just like any others. This does mean if you bring in a picture, yes, this picture is now a texture I can use. Grab the mannequin, recolor the mannequin, and now if I choose that texture, you recolor to the texture. Now I've got this picture on the mannequin. It's all one piece. You cannot do a separate uh, picture for each different body part. But you can experiment, try the picture. You can see how it's being wrapped around. Each limb gets its own copy of the picture. So we can give it textures, that type of thing. It's always going to be one piece, not subdividable. So quite often we're going to leave it as a single color. No texture in a simple color and possibly in an interesting material as well. Each mannequin could then be changed so I could have a red, a green, and a blue, that type of thing. I don't need you anymore. Thank you. So the mannequin, it itself isn't manipulatable other than pose, but we can use that as a base. We can use that to show scale. We can bring it into any, any gravity sketch we want to do. Now that it's in place, edit, changing limbs or changing the individual points themselves. Mannequins in Gravity Sketch. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you have questions. This is a really straightforward episode because it's really a straightforward subject. Let us know if things don't work for you. Let us know if you want lessons on particular uh, uh, tools. We do this all the time here at Shameless Mayhem, youtube.com slash shamelessmayhem. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy Gravity Sketch.